Hey, welcome to Cool Toys. If you watched the very first episode that we did as Tech Tac Doe, you know that we put some really cool LED headlights in a Jeep Wrangler. Unlimited, the big JK. And we're gonna start fixing them up a little here and there along with some other cars. Don't worry, it won't be a Jeep show. So today we're gonna bling our Jeep out a little bit. The main one is a Sahara, actually two are Saharas. And I consider the Sahara the Jeep that a Mercedes G-Wagon wants to be. So we're gonna bling it up a little bit just because we can. And we're gonna get rid of the crazy antenna that doesn't let us take it to the car wash. And I know you Jeep purists are gonna say, oh, wash it yourself, lazy. Yeah, I get lazy, sorry. So the bad news, those cool LED headlights that we put in failed, but the manufacturer sent us a new set. This is their brand new style and they, are going to be a little bit of a surprise from what we're told. They watched our video, they liked it, and they figured out the piece they were missing was that little wiring harness that I built. So it's now included. So let's take a quick look. So here's the new headlights. And this is a complete kit now. You don't have to buy separate parts like the old ones. So these are called projectors. You'll notice there's two large elements and then two smaller elements. It does have the dot SAE on the top, with the elements, so I'm assuming this is how it's going to look when we put it in the Jeep. Notice it still has a halo. This may light up as a more smooth ring than the one that we put in before. So, pretty cool. Also included in the kit, the uh, CAN bus anti-flicker. So this anti-flicker is the adapter that prevents the LEDs from flickering when the CAN bus is testing the lights. Now, they tell us these aren't necessary, and we'll probably just use the ones that we purchased before. So these are a freebie in the kit, don't need it. But here's the cool section. We got extra wires to wire up both the daytime running lights for the red and the yellow is for the uh, turn signals. So the daytime running lights, the halos will turn off. So we've got the two different color sets of wires that came with the kit now, which is a nice improvement. and. These are the H13 to H4 adapters. So the light will plug in here and this will plug into the Jeep's headlight system as if normal. So that allows this to be a plug and play system that works on European and American lights. So again, it's the, you can see the standard plug here, which is for the older style vehicles. And then we've got the two for the daytime running lights and for the turn signal identifier. So, and this is the newer style European connector this plugs in, that plugs in, and you're ready to go. So let's go down, bling up the grill, put on a shorter antenna so I can be lazy and take it through the car wash, and try out some new headlights. See you down in the shop. All right, so we've got the hood open. I went and got two simple flathead screwdrivers. Very easy, and all we're gonna do is pop the grill. Oops, and you want to do that carefully because we will have to recover that part. Because you probably will be like us and take this out more than one time, you want to be quite careful and not damage these things. I'm sure you can buy them online, but the less you have to pay for, the more fun your Jeep is. All right, so we've pulled out all the little pins across the top. It literally slides out like this. Down in here, there's some small pins. So if you put at the bottom, it unsnaps. If you can zoom in here, you'll see I've got these little red safety sensors. I unplug those and out comes light. This one's on the bottom, unplug that. Well, worst case, just take the whole bulb out if the safety won't come out. So what we're gonna end up doing is laying in our stainless steel grill. We'll lay out the stainless steel and do this on a bigger desk. So let's get onto the headlights. Okay, now that we've got the grill gone, a T15 Torx 15 screwdriver, little tip, and we're just gonna pull out the headlights. Now remember, we're already wired for the uh, halo, so this will go much quicker than complete installation. If you need to see the complete installation, please go back to our original episode, and you can see these paw headlights going in. Now you can see we've already got the anti-flicker harness, we've already got the connection for the uh, daytime running lights, and we've got the 14 to 13 adapter. So all I'm going to do is very quickly disconnect it here, and disconnect 
the two from the clips that we have here. You may recall we didn't hook up the uh, turn signal. We left that one undone, and we're going to leave it that way. So this, uh, and that's it. Headlights out. We'll do the second one. And there we go. Now, one of the things I noticed really quickly right away is that the connectors here, these are female, and we had male on the new headlights. So this may be a bit of a quick adjustment. And yes, so here we have, and I'm going to let you zoom in here, that both of these are now male instead of female. So it's a little bit of a problem there, Sui Tech. When you put these together, try to make your kits the same so they're easier to replace. But let's take a look anyway. Let's make sure the fit and the work goes in quickly. So, actually, I'm going to leave the little scratch guard on so we're completely done. So this fits. We still have to uh, adjust here because this end. So we may have to come back to this just a little bit. In fact, we're going to. But let's go ahead and see how the fit goes because there is a lot of stuff that has to go back into this hole even before the fit. And again, these little notches here should fit only one way and that's one of the funny mistakes I made last time putting the headlight in upside down. So if we look at the headlight we know the DOT symbol probably should go at the top so we should be able to line it up something like this and it is lining up but just like the other ones it's just a hair too big so it's going to take a little work there it goes to get it to drop right into place. So there we have what the headlight will look like when it's put in. We're going to have to pause and go get some different materials. So here we've got our new stainless steel grill. We're blinging this up a little bit closer to a Mercedes GL look, just because we think that the GL sort of wants to be, or even a G-Wagon really just wants to be a Jeep. We can't quite live up to it. So we've got a stainless steel grill. A couple things this does for us. Tighter holes keeps a lot of rocks and garbage going into the grill for the times we do go off-roading or hang out at the beach. So it's impressed and you can see it's got the Jeep seven bars. So it should fit right in our grill. Let's take a look. So Jeep grill plastic, nice and easy. We'll take that off. We'll need these screws. So, so it slides in pretty good. Um, not a bad fit. It's kind of an interesting thing up here where I'm wondering where we're going to connect. These down here, I'm sure we have to drill just a little bit down inside. And push this in here. So let's quickly double check the directions. Yes, that is correct. This shows a completely different grill style. Very interesting. Oh. This is for a 26, 2015. They sent us the wrong grill. So we're not even going to bling it up today. This is just wrong. Totally wrong. So how about we take the antenna off and see how this goes? Well, while we're waiting on the parts to do the headlights, we discovered a couple of things. The grill that we thought we were going to bling out doesn't fit. So we're sending it back and we're going to check on something else. But we're still going to put the rubber antenna on and get rid of this wobbly thing. Because I still do kind of like going to car washes once in a while. This is a 15 inch rubber antenna. Not real keen on the fact that it doesn't stay super straight, but it is what it is. Simple wrench. There we go. So while this may not keep the straightest look, it is flexible, easy, and it should not damage the vehicle while we're going through the car wash. And more importantly, if you're hitting brush going out in the weeds, it won't damage it. So the big thing will be, how much radio do we actually get? So now that we've got it on there, nice and tight, I'm actually going to use a little pair of vice grips to tighten on just a hair more. But that's it. So shorten up the antenna. We're going to go run and get some parts. We'll be right back to finish the headlights. All right, so we've replaced the female connectors, or the male connectors rather, with a female connector. The headlight installation, we're gonna pop those in, 
put the grill on, and that shows you cool toys aren't always easy. The grill is one year earlier. They're supposed to be universal. Turned out it had three specific connectors right here, which won't work for us. So we've got the new grill on order. Look for it in another episode. Let's get the headlights back in, the grill on, and let's take a look at how these are. So here we go. Little heat shrink right over. We're gonna heat this up to uh, make it good and tight. And again, we're choosing not to hook up the turn signals to the DRL, so I'm just going to tape over that little piece, wrap it on here, and then I'll put a little buddy tab so it's easier to take off next time because chances are good, the grill will be off again. So, like we saw already from the other side, it's a little tight. The uh, DOTSAE goes up, so we've got to stuff all of this in here first which this side's a little easier because we've got a big hole back here. And then we see that we have these little tabs here that line up. Pop it in. It's a little snug. And get the ring on. So nice, easy adjustments. If this is uh, not something that goes on super tight. Remember, this is just nylon holding it in. If we need to adjust it later, we've got adjustments that use the same torques right here once we get it lined up. And we can check our headlight adjustment, go from there. So there's the first one. Let's come over here and do the second one. All right, we're ready to pop the grill back on. So the grill assembly is exactly the opposite. This side, remember the light came right out. So all we're going to do is snap on the adapter and make sure we get that little red pin in there to uh, lock it in place so it doesn't vibrate loose. This side, we're just going to pop the bulb in, give it a little twist, make sure it locks nice and tight. We're going to line up each of these little clips at the bottom, and it's literally just push it in. You see it? You can look down inside here and see that it's flush. There's one at each turn signal that also should tighten up. You see that's not tight. So we come in there, and there it is. You hear it click. And then these just pop right in place, piece of cake. You know, it's kind of a nice maintenance thing. One of the coolest things with Jeep, a modern vehicle, you can actually take apart, put back together and not have to break every single part when you do it. So there's kind of a cool feature there, cool toy. So let's see how we did. Pop the hood back shut. And one of the things we might look for in the future, some better Hood closures, something that looks a little nicer than just these nylon plastic. They work, but pretty simple. So let's grab the lights and see how they do. So there we have our new halos. There's low beams, and these are amazingly bright. And there's high beams, so it adds together, gets everything all in one. So there you have it. We spent the day trying to bling out our Jeep. We got the cool little antenna on there so we're not beating it up in the car wash. And you purists can, I'll, I'll wash it by hand, but not every time. I wanna have the opportunity. And for you purists, that thing won't beat up the window when you're going through the bush. So there's a reason to get the little antenna. It sounds good so far. We got the headlights on, the new Sui Tex. Twice as bright as the original pause that we had. We still got to keep the halo. So Sui Tech earns the Cool Toys stamp of approval. There you have it, a cool toy. If you've got other LED headlights and you wanna see them head to head with these, let us know. We've got two more Jeeps, we'll put them on and compare them side by side. Until then, if you've got another cool toy and you wanna see if we'll put that stamp, Cool Toys approved, right on it, send it to us, we'll check it out. Until then, thanks for visiting and watching Cool Toys. I hope to see you next week.